Nikupe ongela ya nguvu sana kwa kuwa we umekuwa mwenzetu unaitembelea mwalimu Tanzania na kuweza kupata kujifunza mambo mbalimbali ya masomo ambayo yanapatikana hapa nchini Tanzania na nje ya nchi masomo mbalimbali yote tuyapata hapa YouTube mwalimu Tanzania masomo ya A level O level na vyuo mbalimbali utayapata hapa mwalimu Tanzania ninachokuomba usisahau kusubscribe kwa lengo la kuweza kupata ujumbe hasa ukishabonyeza alama ya kengele ili tuwe tunakupa notification kwamba tayari tumeweza kuweka notes za sauti katika YouTube yetu ya mwalimu Tanzania Notisi hizi zitakusaidia sana kuweza kujifunza mahali popote pale utakapokuwa kwani utajifunza kwa kusikiliza. Unaweza kuwa huko nyumbani umekaa, huko kwenye gari yako au huko sehemu yoyote ile umetulia na kusikiliza notisi hizi ambazo tunakusimulia moja kwa moja hapa kwa weledi kabisa kwa lengo la kuweza kukufanya uelewe na kujua mambo mbalimbali kuhusiana na masomo yetu ya hapa Tanzania na nje ya Tanzania. Siku hii ya leo tunakutana katika somo la historia na katika somo la historia tunaangalia kipengele cha long distance trade. Long distance trade ni long distance trade ni uh, biashara ambayo ilifanyika kabla ya ujio wa koloni kabla Afrika haijatawaliwa. Wageni walikuja kwa lengo moja la kufanya biashara na Waafrika. Lakini kabla ya kuangalia nini maana ya long distance trade, tutaanza kwa kuangalia maana ya local trade na regional trade ndipo tutakapoangalia long distance trade pamoja na matokeo ya biashara hiyo. Tuangalie nini maana ya local trade. Local trade refer to the exchange of goods among members of community. Tunapozungumza local trade tunazungumzia biashara ile ambayo inakuwa inafanyika ndani ya jamii moja. Mfano, a, jamii ya wasukuma wao kwa wao wanaweza wakafanya biashara ya kuuziana ngombe mle mle hawavuki mpaka wa wasukuma kama ni Mwanza ni Mwanza kama ni Shinyanga ni Shinyanga au kama ni Tabora wanyamwezi wanakuwa humo humo hawavuki mkoa wao wa Tabora hiyo ndio local distance trade regional trade regional trade involves exchange of goods between a community and a Uh, neighboring communities uh, long, long distance trade ina tofauti na regional trade kwa sababu regional trade involves exchange of goods between a community and the neighboring communities ni pale ambapo jamii moja na jamii nyingine zinakuwa zinafanya biashara mfano jamii ya Waaya kule Kagera na jamii ya Wasukuma hapa Mwanza inaweza ikawa inafanya biashara wote huyu anamuuzia ndizi na huyu anamuuzia ngombe. Huyu anamuuzia wali mchere, huyu anamuuzia uh, anamuuzia ndizi. Hiyo ndio regional trade. Ni kati ya mkoa mmoja na mkoa mwingine. Lakini local trade ni mle mle ndani ya jamii moja. Sasa baada ya kujua maana ya local trade na regional trade, sasa tuangalie nini maana ya long distance trade. Nini maana ya long distance trade? Long distance trade was the exchange of trade goods between communities over long distance. For example, between East African interior and the East African coast. Was the exchange of goods between communities ilikuwa ni mbadilishano wa bidhaa walikuwa wanabadilishana bidhaa kati ya jamii moja na jamii nyingine lakini kwa umbali mkubwa jamii ambazo hazijapakana jamii ambazo zina umbali mkubwa kutoka jamii moja kwenda jamii nyingine kwa mfano naweza kasema kutoka Dodoma kwenda kwenda Kagera wanafanyana biashara hiyo ndio long distance trade au kutoka Sumbawanga kwenda Mwanza long distance trade kwa sababu unakuwa umevuka mikoa mbalimbali. Kwa hiyo was the exchange of trade goods between communities over long distance. For example, between East African uh, interior and the, the East African coast. Kwa mfano, wale watu ambao walikuwa wanaishi kando kando ya bahari na maanisha pwani na wale wengine ambao walikuwa wanaishi ndani kabisa huko vijijini walikuwa na 
kushughulika katika kufanyana biashara wanabadilishana bidhaa hizi bidhaa zinatoka ba, zinatoka pwani zinaenda kule vijijini na hizi bidhaa zinatoka vijijini zinaenda pwani hiyo ndio long distance trade The trade developed because of the demand of ivory in Europe and the United States of America. Slaves for plantation agriculture at the cost and in Mauritius and the Union sugar plantation, ivory slaves from the interior were extended for clothes. Kwamba biashara ya long distance trade ilikuwa kwa sababu ya kuwepo kwa uhitaji mkubwa sana wa pembe za ndovu, watumwa na na watu ambao wanaweza kwenda kulima katika mashamba ya huko Amerika ambao walikuwa ni watumwa. Kwa hiyo kwa sababu kulikuwa kunahitajika watumwa na zinahitajika pembe za ndovu huko Ulaya na Amerika, tayari wakaja Afrika, East Africa na Central Africa uh, na East African Coast kwa lengo la kuweza kupata ivory, kwa lengo la kuweza kupata slaves, kwa lengo la kuweza kupata watu ambao wataweza kwenda kufanya kazi kwenye mashamba ya miwa huko Marekani. Kwa hiyo kumbe watumwa walikuwa wanafanyika kama bidhaa. Kwa hiyo watumwa ilikuwa ni bidhaa, ivory pia ilikuwa ni bidhaa, pembe za ndovu. Ilikuwa ni bidhaa kubwa sana ambayo wa, wageni walizihitaji wali sana kwa lengo la kuweza kwenda kufanya mambo yao ya kimaendeleo huko katika nchi zao. Na walipokuwa wakija kwa lengo la kuweza kuchukua ivory au kuchukua bidhaa nyingine, walikuwa wanatuletea sisi nguo. Unatupa nguo tunavaa sisi tunawapa ivory. Sisi tunawapa watumwa. The communities that participated in the long distance trade were the Kamba, Swahili, Arabs, Yao, Nyamwezi, mji mjikenda na baganda kwamba jamii mbalimbali ambazo zilihusika katika masuala ya long distance trade ambazo zilihusika na bidhaa hizo kusafirisha watumwa uh, na bidhaa nyingine kubadilishana kati ya wageni pamoja na wao wenyewe wenyeji walikuwa ni wale kamba uh, waswahili harabs yao nyamwezi mjikenda na baganda kule nchini Uganda sasa baada ya kuwa tumeangalia uh, wale jamii ambayo ilihusika na long distance trade au tuangalie kwamba the middlemen included the majikenda and the kamba who obtained slaves and ivory from the interior kwamba mjikenda hii jamii ya mjikenda pamoja na hii uh, hapa kamba uh, walikuwa wanaingia ndani kabisa vijijini kwa lengo la kuweza kupata Uh, watumwa na pembe za ndovu The Akamba organized the caravans that left for the coast on a weekly basis to sell ivory honey bees wax and etc They had traders like Chief Kivoi who is remembered for organizing the trade kwamba hao watu walikuwa wanaingia interior au ambao walikuwa ni middlemen tunapozungumzia middlemen tunazungumzia madalali waliokuwa katikati ya wageni na wenyeji walikuwa wakiingia ndani vijijini uh, kwenda kutafuta watumwa pamoja na asali pamoja na uh, pembe za ndovu na wanawaleta wanaleta huko kwenye kosti wanakutana na wageni na wageni wanasafisha kupeleka nchini kwao The source of slaves and ivory extended as far as the mountain Kenya region, Baringo and the shores of the Lake Victoria. Kwa maeneo mbalimbali ambayo watu walikuja sana kuweza kufanya biashara za haya masuala ya ya watumwa pamoja na pembe za ndovu ni huko karibia na mlima uh, Kenya eh, pamoja na Baringo na pia katika maeneo mbalimbali ya kando ya ziwa ya Victoria Sasa baada ya kuangalia utangulizi tuangalie effects effects of long distance trade effects 
of long distance trading. Effect ya kwanza ni kwamba the trade led to development of towns. Uwepo wa biashara ya long distance trade ilisababisha uh, kuwepo kwa development of towns. Example Mombasa, Lam, Kilwa, Pemba and Zanzibar. Hiyo ni miji mikubwa kwa kipindi kile ambayo watumwa walikuwa wanauzwa na bidhaa mbalimbali kutoka uh, inchiri ya zilikuwa zinafikiwa na ikumbuka kwamba ni pwani ya ya uko uh, bahari ya Hindi kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni rahisi sana kuweza miji yenyewe kufanyaje kukua kwa sababu na wageni wale wazungu wenyewe walikuwa waishi kule vijijini bali walikuwa wanaishi katika miji hiyo kwa hiyo wakaifanya kiwe kitovu cha biashara hiyo ni effect ya kwanza kwamba developed uh, towns kwamba development of towns miji mikubwa ilipanuka ili, ili, ili pia it increased the volume of local and regional trade it increased the volume of local and regional trade as varieties of new goods were introduced ni kwamba ili, ilifanya kuwepo kwa mwamko wa biashara ndogo ndogo pamoja na biashara za uh, mkoa kwa mkoa regional trade and local trade kwa sababu watu waligundua kwamba kumbe biashara inalipa kwa hiyo ika increase the volume of local and regional trade as varieties of new goods were introduced kwa hiyo watu wakagundua kwamba kumbe unapofanya biashara unapata faida kwa hiyo wakaanza sasa ku, kuongeza sana kwa kasi ya biashara hiyo point inasema increased the volume of local and regional trade Okay. Uh, point nyingine matokeo au effect au impacts ambazo zilitokana na long distance trade ni emergence of classes of wealth Africans along the coast. Kwamba kuna waafrika wengine ambao wali, wale ambao walikuwa middlemen, wale ambao walikuwa madalali, waliokuwa mawakala wa kuweza kupata hizo bidhaa na watumwa. Wale walitajilika. Walitajilika wakawa watu ambao ni wakubwa untouchable ukilinganisha na wale wasikini wengine ambao walikuwa wako chini. Kwa hiyo point inasema emergence of classes of wealth Africans along the, the coast. Emergence of class of wealth Africans along the coast. Africans and the Waswahili merchants acquired a lot of wealth. Waswahili na Waafrika wengine wafanya biashara walipata utajiri mkubwa mfano kivoi of kambani uh, monyo of mjikenda tipu tipu misiri nyungu ya mawe of nyamwezi mwakikonga of digo na wengine wengi kwa hiyo watu wengine walikuja kuwa matajiri wakubwa sana kutokana na, na uwepo wa hiyo biashara ya long distance trade effect nyingine ni introduction of foreign goods introduction of foreign goods introduction of foreign goods such as clothes and pets to the people of East Africa kabla ya ujio wazungu sisa tukua na nguo zile za kisasa nzuri za kuvaa uh, atukua na saani tulia kwenye magome ya miti kwa hiyo sisi uwepo ujio wa wageni ulifanya kuwepo kwa bidhaa mpya mfano nguo saani sufuria na vitu vingine kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo point inasema introduction of foreign goods such as clothes, pets to the people of East Africa. Point nyingine inasema the trade led to introduction of new crops to the coast. Kukawepo na kukawepo na mazao mapya ambayo hayakuwepo yaliletwa na wageni baada ya baada ya biashara ile ya long distance trade kukawepo introduction of foreign introduction of new crops to the coast introduction of new crops to the coast example bananas rice sugarcane and mangoes ni pamoja ni miongoni mwa mazao mageni ambayo yaliletwa na wazungu ya walipokuja kuwafanya biashara ya long distance trade kati ya sisi uh, na wao uh, tayari walitupatia uh, walituwezesha kuweza kupata mazao mapya kama banana, rice, sugarcane na mangoes. 
Matokeo mengine au impact nyingine au effect nyingine ni introduced Islam to the East African coast. Dini ya Kiislamu ilikuja kukua sana. Uh, ilikuja kukua sana kutokana na wengi waliokuja kufanya biashara hii hapa along the distance trade walikuwa ni Waarabu. Kwa hiyo tayari ikafanya dini ya Kiislamu isambaye hasa katika ukanda wa pwani. Point inasema introduce the Islam to the East African coast. Introduce Islam to the East African coast. They also introduce the Islam culture along the coast. Kwa hiyo waka, waka walituletea dini ya Kiislam pia wakatuletea utamaduni wa Kiislam hasa katika ukanda wa pwani. Point nyingine au effect nyingine ni development of plantation agriculture in Malindi and Mombasa due to increase of slave trade. Tunapozungumzia plantation agriculture tunazungumzia uh, kilimo kile ambacho kinakuwa kina kinachukua eneo kubwa sana na sasa kinakuwa ni kilimo cha mazao ya biashara. Fano, chai, kahawa, miwa. Kwa hiyo sasa kumbe tunakuja kuona katika matokeo yake ya uwepo wa long distance trade kulikuja kuwepo development of plantation na agriculture kwa hiyo akawepo mashamba makubwa ya mazao mbalimbali mbali ya kibiashara hasa katika miji ya Mombasa na Malindi kwa sababu ya ku increase biashara ya watumwa sababu nyingi, point nyingine au effect nyingine iliyokuja kutokana na long distance trade ilikuwa ni development of trade routes and market centers in the region such as routes later become important highway during the colonial rule and the up to day development of trade routes and market centers in the region uh, kukawepo na baadhi ya maeneo mbalimbali mfano barabara bara, uh, ambazo zilikuwa common ambazo zilikuja kuwa common na zikaweza kusaidia katika kuujio wa koloni kuja kututawala sisi kwa sababu tayari walikuwa wana ramani ya nchi za East Africa kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni simple sana kuweza kuja kututawala maana tayari walikuwa wana wanatujua vizuri sana kwa hiyo tunapozungumza kwamba development of trade routes zile routes yani inamaanisha zile sehemu mbalimbali mbali ambazo walikuwa wanapita zilikuwa zimeshakuwa maarufu sana zimeshakuwa common sana katika vichwa vyao kwa hiyo zilipanuka zili, zili mfano naweza kuzungumzia hii barabara ya kutoka Mwanza to Dar es Salaam au kutoka uh, Iringa to Dodoma ni routes ambazo zikaja kuwa common sana kwa sababu ni sehemu ambazo tayari zilikuwa zinatumika na wale wafanyabiashara ambao walikuwa wanachukua bidhaa kutoka kule interior vijijini kuzipeleka katika coast Ah uh, uh, matokeo mengine au effect nyingine ni traders gave reports about their cost. Traders gave reports about their cost. Uh, ni kwamba wa geni wafanyabiashara waliporudi nyumbani kwao kule Ulaya tayari wakaenda kutoa siri, wakaenda kutoa report ya jinsi gani uh, kosti ya East Africa ilivyo ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki wa pwani jinsi ulivyo kwa hiyo hata walipokuja kututawala hawakutumia nguvu nyingi sana kwa kutawala kwa sababu tayari walikuwa na report kamili wameshafika katika kosti zetu wameshaweza kuingia interior kutafuta watumwa kutafuta ivory kutafuta hani kutafuta bidhaa nyingine zote kama gold na madini mengine kama hayo. Kwa hiyo walikuwa tayari wanatujua vyema sana. Kwa hiyo ile report iliwasaidia sana katika kuja kututawala sisi pale ambapo walikuja kutukronize. Lakini hapa kwenye biashara walikuwa ni kama wanachukua report, wanachukua ramani ya the, the way watakavyokuja kututawala vizuri au kutukronize vizuri. Okay, it is strategic and commercial stability leading to the colonization of East Africa. Effect nyingine ni it led to the development of the of money economy. It led to the development of money economy that replaced the better trade. Kabla ya ujio wa koloni 
kabla ya ujio wa wakoloni kulikuwa kuna biashara inaitwa butter trade. Hii butter trade ni biashara ambayo inabadilishana kati ya bidhaa na bidhaa. Kwa hiyo mwishoni mwa long distance trade, mwishoni mwa long distance trade na ela zilianza kutumika. Ela zikaanza kutumika. Kwa hiyo wakaanza kutia na pesa pesa vyao wanawadanganya wale wenyeji na wenyeji au nguo na wenyeji wanawapa bidhaa au mali. Kwa hiyo it led to the development of money economy. Tayari money economy kwenye East Africa coast ikawa maarufu sana. Watu wakagundua kwamba kumbe kuna kitu kinaitwa pesa na wakagundua kwamba kumbe bila pesa uwezo kufanya jambo moja au jingine. Kwa hiyo it led to the development of money economy. Uh, watu wakajua kuhusu masuala ya economy that replaced the butter trade na hiyo pesa ndiyo iliyokuja kurepress au kusimama mbadala wa butter trade yani biashara ya bidhaa kwa bidhaa effect ya mwisho ni the trade facilitated the colonization of east africa the trade facilitated the, the, the colonization of east africa the trade facilitated the colonization of west africa kama ndivyo kwa nishakwambia kwamba kwa sababu walikuwa wameshatujua sisi the way to live washajua ramani ya nchi zetu washajua trade routes washajua sehemu gani kuna ardhi yenye rutuba tayari ikaja kuwa rahisi sana wao kuja kutcolonize kwa sababu walikuwa wanatujua vizuri sana naomba nikutajie effect kwa haraka haraka nizirudie effect kwa haraka haraka Eh, ya kwanza it led to the development of towns it led to development of towns it led to development of towns a uh, point nyingine ni emergence of class wealth africans along the coast emergence of class wealth africans along the coast point nyingine ni introduction of foreign goods introduction of foreign goods introduction of foreign goods Point nyingine au effect nyingine ni the trade led to introduction of new crops to the coast. The trade led to introduction of new crops to the coast. The trade led to introduction of new crops to the coast. Uh, effect nyingine introduced Islam to the East African coast. Introduced Islam to the East African coast. Introduced Islam to the East African coast. Point nyingine development of plantation agriculture in Malindi and Mombasa development of plantation agriculture in Malindi and Mombasa development of plantation agriculture in Malindi and Mombasa point nyingine development of trade routes and market centers in the region development of trade routes and market centers in the region development of trade routes and market centers in the region Point nyingine traders gave reports about the coast. Traders gave reports about the coast. Traders gave reports about the coast. Effect nyingine it led to development of money economy. 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 Point nyingine the trade facilitated the colonization of West Africa. The trade facilitated the the colonization of east africa the trade facilitated the colonization of east africa hadi kufikia hapo nipende kukushukuru sana kwa kuwa umeweza kuitegea sikio mwalimu Tanzania leo tulikuwa tunazungumzia long distance trade maana ya long distance trade na effects zake hapa east african coast ni kuombe tuendelee kuwa pamoja katika masomo mengine usisahau kusubscribe ku like na ku comment